Shout out to my friend Ed for telling me that this update had just happened, although at the same time I hate you, I was in bed, already ready to go to sleep. But basically ChatGPT has just experienced one of the biggest updates we have ever seen. So they had a dev day today and they've released some new models and a couple of other things that I've been waiting for, specifically the Dolly, Dolly 3 API. This is super, super cool, super, super interesting. So one of the biggest updates that we have just seen from today is the following. If you ask ChatGPT 3.5, who is the CEO of Twitter, obviously it's gonna tell you that it's Jack Dorsey because in 2022, he was the uh, CEO of Twitter. However, if we activate the newest model right here and we say, who is the CEO of Twitter? You'll see that as of my last update in early 2023, Elon Musk was the S uh, CEO of Twitter after acquiring the company in October 2022. So what does this mean? It means that there has now been an update which will take ChatGPT up all the way to April 2023. And I'm telling you right now, it will not be long until ChatGPT is live and is following us as things happen. Another super, super interesting update as well. And it's a little bit ridiculous to be honest with you, is that the maximum length has been upgraded all the way up to 128,000 tokens. Now, the output, is limited to 4096 but the input or the system has you can literally put an entire book into chat gpt now now it will cost a little bit of money of course but and this is super super interesting actually because i actually made a video today and i was complaining about how slow chat gpt was now we all know what was happening okay but it's turbo and they've reduced the price okay so as we can see right here, we released the first version of GPT-4 in March and made GPT-4 generally available to all developers in July. Today we're launching a preview of the next generation of this model, GPT-4 Turbo. So I do have this, thank God, I, I do have early access, which is nice. GPT-4 Turbo is more capable and has more knowledge and also knowledge up to events of April 2023. It has 128,000 <laughs> context windows, so it can fit the equivalent of more than 300 pages of text in one single prompt. This is really, really good for me because I don't know, not everyone knows this, but I love my really, really big long prompts. We also optimized its performance so we are able to offer GPT-4 Turbo at a three times cheaper price for input tokens and a two times cheaper price for output tokens compared to GPT-4. So it's now half as expensive for output and three times cheaper for input this is such a massive update and as you can see gpt4 1106 preview that's exactly what i have right here and this is something that i could for example put into my script now another really really important thing here for me at least is dali but before we get into dali i do want to read a little bit about assistance so today we're releasing the assistance api our first steps towards helping developers build agent-like experiences within their own applications an assistant is a purpose-built AI that has specific instructions, leverages extra knowledge, and can call models and tools to perform tasks. The new assistant API, so this, I'm already thinking in my head, this is going to be SEO bots, SEO creators, you know, something to help with SEO. The new assistance API provides new capabilities such as code inter interpreter and retrievals, as well as function calling to handle lots of heavy lifting that you previously had to do yourself and to enable you to build high quality AI apps. Now, obviously this is a little bit outside of my scope personally at the moment, but I will be digging into this and I promise you right now, I will be learning all of this stuff. This API is designed for flexibility. Use cases range from a natural language based data analysis app, a coding assistant, an A or SEO assistant, an AI powered vacation planner, a voice controlled DJ, a smart visual canvas, the list goes on. Blah, 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 blah. Assistants also have access to cool call new tools as needed, including code interpreter, retrieval, augments the assistant with knowledge from outside our models, such as proprietary domain data, product information, or documents provided by your users. This means that the need, this means you don't need to compute and store embeddings for your documents or implement 
chunking and search algorithms. This is huge. The assistant API optimizes what retrieval technique to use based on our experience, knowledge, retrieval in ChatGPT. So if you actually go to the playground and you click on assistance, I haven't played with this yet at all. Um, looks like you can just give it instructions here. You could get it to do a function call. You could turn on code interpreter. I'm very, very intrigued by this. I'll have a video on this tomorrow, guys. I'm going to look more into assistance. But for now, let's just keep up with the updates. So this is just a little um, a little GIF or whatever, GIF, GIF, <laughs> showing an example of what this can do. Again, this is a little bit outside of my personal scope of programming knowledge, but you know, I'm not afraid to sink my teeth into things, guys. So looks like there's a function to get weather here. You could probably use ChatGPT to write your own function just to make it specific for what you want. GPT-4 Turbo can now accept images as inputs in the chat completions API. This is this is huge, okay? What does that mean? It means you can now play with ChatGPT API with your own images. That's crazy. That's really, really crazy. Developers can now access this feature by using GPT-4 Vision Preview in the API. We plan to roll out vision support to the main GPT-4 Turbo model as part of its stable release. Pricing depends on the input image size. For instance, passing an image with 1080, 1080 to GPT-4 Turbo costs less than one cent. Looks like a cent, a seventh of a cent. That's super interesting. Not quite available yet on GPT um, 128K, but it is available on GPT-4 Vision Preview. And then the creme de la creme, the thing that I've been waiting for for months now, is the DALI 3 API. Developers can now integrate DALI 3, which we recently launched the ChatGPT Plus and enterprise users, directly into their apps and products through our images API by specifying DALI 3 as the model. So what does that mean? It actually means, if you look here, we can now generate things like infographics, blog featured images, posts at a much higher level, a much, much higher level. So I recently made a video where I talked about this. Um, this is basically a content automator. It automates content making. But now what we can do, and I'm going to use the playground for this. I'm just going to ask this to add this function. Can you change this script to also produce a featured image using a prompt generated by ChatGPT? that uses the keyword and then um, outputs a featured, featured image blog post using the V3 API. Okay, and then we'll give it the, oops, maximum length is too low here. Let's put this up a bit. The thing is it gets very, very big very, very quickly. A little bit of a problem to be honest with you. So this needs to be on less than it needs to be on four thousand, I think. So we'll submit that. Okay, let's see how. Let's see if this would even work. Um, Dali three. How does it know the prompt? Prompt equals prompt. Okay, I guess. We'll just try this out live. But I'm just so happy that this has finally been released to the public. I've been waiting for the DALI 3 API for so long. And it says rest of your existing code. So conversation history. So, I mean, this, this update has already changed everything for me personally. Because ChatGPT4 Turbo is so overpowered it's insane you can tell i'm excited by this it just makes such a huge difference i write a lot of content and chat gpt4 is normally so so slow okay and now that we can do it a little bit faster or significantly faster it's such a massive update for me uh we're gonna have to put the um my secret key here quickly uh, I, I just realized something. I was just waiting for this code to finish, and I literally just realized that I can change this to this, which will, which should actually just make everything a lot quicker. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna cancel this run quickly.
Uh, we'll go back to terminal, new terminal. And we're just going to change GPT-4 here to GPT-41106, like that. And then we'll do the same thing for any other instances. There are no other instances. Okay, so right now it's it's not doing the rest of the article, but it is doing the featured image. And we're going to have a look at a few results here. So this is black tie attire. Black tie attire. Casual wear explored. What are the casual? Yeah, okay. We're looking good so far. If it's getting the text right every time, this is the most overpowered update we've ever seen. What are formal attire? Okay. What are the different types of wedding attire? Again, it's not doing the articles right now. I just wanted to see Dali 3 in action. Uh, looks like it's working pretty well. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five fingers. Okay, good. And then, yeah. The, this has just changed everything, honestly. It's allowed us to do so many different things. It's allowing us to make quicker content because of the turbo. It's allowing us to use DALI because it's more reliable and more consistent. And yeah, it's GG. One, two, three, four, five fingers. Even the eyes look fine, to be honest with you. This is a particularly good image, and I'm super happy with the results here. Okay, so now this is the autoblogger. Remember, this is purely API based, purely Python based. Uh, we've got 117 lines of content, which is probably just under uh, 1,500 words or something. And it also generated a featured image. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Eyes are good. I don't believe it. It took less than 55 seconds to generate everything you need to rank on Google, okay? If you want to get this script, I will leave a link to the uh, GitHub. You can just clone it. Very, very simple, very, very easy. And let's just see how many words we actually uh, generated here. So tools, word count, 1,000 words, featured image, check, internal links, check, title, check, headings, check, um, lists, yes, and then we have a table as well, although the table looks like it hasn't formatted properly, but that's okay. So yeah, you can find this script in the description of this video, it'll be in the GitHub. Uh, this one has also just finished, so we might as well just quickly test this one as well. How long did this one take? 72 seconds. Again, it looks like the key takeaway thing isn't really working that well, but that's okay, that'll just be a, a quick fix, to be honest with you. It's probably just it probably just needs some enters or something around. Should be working though. That looks like a properly formatted markdown table, to be fair. Oh yeah, it is properly formatted. There we go. Conclusion, yeah, and that's the featured image. Looks a little bit dodgy with the eyes, but it's such a huge improvement. This is one of the biggest updates we've seen to any of this stuff recently. Thank you so much for watching guys, and yeah, two videos in a day. Peace out.